Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Most global markets are down this morning. The US 30 following on from yesterday's uh, loss-making day ever so slightly down. Uh, with the German 30 and the UK 100 slipping further this morning. Looking at 17.895 as the next potential support level, uh, we do have a, a potential golden cross in moving averages, while the technical indicators are still relatively neutral sands. The slow stochastic there that's just gone to overbought territory and is quite close to crossing that 80% level. So any further downwards pressure on the US 30 below 17.895 could open up 17.738 as um, the, um, the breakdown in Greece talks seems to take centre stage with no deal being reached last night and um, an ultimatum being given uh, to the Greeks to um, basically come to the party by Friday or um, they're not going to get any more funding and uh, things are beginning to get a little bit closer to the wire. I think most uh, traders still believe that, that a deal will be reached, it kind of pretty much has to be reached because the um, the fallout from that would be quite would be quite significant, so um, we'll have to see how that pans out. But the markets are down, um, but it's not like an excessive big move. We've seen some moves in um, a euro dollar and cable overnight, uh, with euro dollar down about 100 pips, uh, close to the end of uh, yesterday's session. So looking at UK 100, um, we are bouncing off that 21 period SMA. It seems first thing this morning. The other technicals are very very neutral. We're actually still relatively close to the all time high on the UK 100 at 69.06.8. So uh, that does give us a bit of an idea about, about where we are. Could be an actual um, ascending triangle formation right here. Uh, if I just get the uh, drawing tools on there for a quick second, that will give you a bit of an idea. Um, where the potential trend line support could be. Uh, usually these are a continuation pattern. Uh, should it stay within this triangle formation, you would expect the bias to be to break to the top side. If it breaks the bottom of this trend line, then 67.71.8 could be the next potential support level. So Japan 225 with dollar yen still hovering in about 118 spot 50. I can't imagine Japan 225 is doing that much. Um, we're down a little bit following that eight and eight year high that we were able to achieve last Friday. Um, we're on positive territory first thing this morning, following on yesterday's loss. We actually closed towards the end of yesterday's close as well. Um, sorry, the, towards the end of yesterday's uh, down range. Other technicals again are flattening out. Um, MACD don't do a huge amount. The RSI still away from being overbought. Uh, with only the slow stochastic there getting quite close to getting above that 80% level yet, uh, which would be indicative of it being slightly overbought, but still no reversal signal yet, with 18,306.5 being the next potential resistance to be aware of right there. So looking at dollar yen, um, it's been flattening out again, round about just below 119 actually. Uh, so 118 um, spot 99 there is actually the official potential resistance level on there. We are seeing the moving averages begin to flatten out. MACD is close to uh, crossing over, which would be negative. Uh, it's quite close to the zero line as well. Whereas the RSI and so stochastic right there are neutral. Um, so this probably looks like it could be moving sideways for the next uh, for the next couple of sessions anyway. Uh, and it's not been that surprising. If you look at it since December, it's been trading this quite narrow range, um, probably between 116 and uh, 120. So moving on to crude oil West Texas, it's not done a huge amount since we last spoke, but um, $54.85 is the next potential resistance. It's trying three times to break above that. It could be a, a triple top if it fails. Uh, certainly looks like an ascending triangle formation, similar to what we just saw on the Japan 225. So I'll just go to my drawing tools for a second and just add this trend line in. Um, this could be something that we're, we're, we're potentially looking at. So um, it will break one of two sides, either the top end of potential resistance at 54 spot 85 or break of that trend line, which would then open up a move back down to around about 43 should that happen. With crude oil inventories due tomorrow, uh, and we've already talked about it the last um, four or five sessions, crude oil inventories have beaten expectations, which uh, is indicative of, uh, of more, st uh, more stocks and distillate, which has resulted in a drop in the price. So we'll see if that pans out again tomorrow. So as mentioned, euro dollar was on the retreat yesterday. The euro took a bit of a tumble. Uh, another, you could potentially draw another trend line on here, actually. Um, most markets are quite positively correlated in that kind of regard. Uh, probably more like a symmetrical triangle formation right here. Uh, matter of fact, that's exactly what that is. So we should get a break of one direction. It's looking a little bit um, bottom heavy right now. So perhaps a break of this bottom end here. If there isn't a deal reached by Friday, of course, your dollar will continue to feel the pressure. Um, so that will be a very interesting pair to have a look at 
as the clock keeps ticking down. So finishing up with GBP USD, a failure to break through one spot 54.24. We've had a bit of a retreat yesterday. We're currently trading just below that 55 period SMA. Um, with the MACD actually relatively bullish, having crossed the zero line yesterday, the RSI still has room to grow, whereas the slow stochastic is just about to go into overbought territory. So the GBP actually has the the the, the potential uh, here to break a little bit higher, uh, especially if our macro data, the CPI, the PPI and the RPI, all due at 9.30 UK time, uh, could be the catalyst for that if these figures come out very, very strong. Of course, if they're a mixed bag or, or, or weak cable will suffer today, so that could be an interesting uh, date release for, for traders to be aware of. And then you've got the ZEW business report. Very influential report from Germany, that's at 10 a.m. today, and that will also be a big one for Euro dollar. Um, to keep keep your eye on. If we fast forward on to Wednesday, you can see we've got uh, more UK data. You've got unemployment claims and the Bank of England minutes, which should be quite interesting if you're interested in uh, interest rate uh, kind of hints from the um, from Pierney in that regard. Uh, and then you do have the PPI final demand month to month at 1:30 UK time, which should be again good for GBP USD depending on which viewpoint you have. So as ever, keep you on the chart forum, make insights part of the going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.